Hey y'all, this is Natasha. So I'm about to do the flexi rods versus the curl formers to see what's the difference in the curls. I use the Jane Carter Revitalizing Leave-In Conditioner. So that's what I have on my hair now. And I've already pretty much divided my hair. down. I divided down the middle. I've already sectioned off the back, you know, so I can work with it. This Flexi Rod Curl Former um, set, I'm going to use the Jane Carter Wrapping Solution. And I'm actually going to start... Um, Pump, pump, foam, foam. I know y'all can't see that, but I'll show you in a minute. It comes out as foam. And I don't even know why I put this one on there. You just rub that in there. And you want to make sure your hair is as smooth as possible. So that's why I'm going back with the um, smaller comb. Because you want your curls to be as smooth as possible. So the curl formers, whenever you buy a packet or the big pack, they're going to be in two different colors. And the reason for the two different colors is the way that the curl is turned. You know, some people when they're doing Shirley Temples or spiral curls, they wrap to the right. And some people wrap to the left. That's the difference in the colors. One goes one way, one goes the other way. So when I put my curl forms in, I actually try to blend mine. I, I go green, blue, green what you'll see me do. So I'm just going to get started and I'll show you some then I'll come off camera and, and remember with the curl form you take your rod slide it on hook your hair make sure you hook it all slide it down to the bottom Hold it and pull through. Oops. And as you know, you can part your hair as thick or as thin as you want it. Just remember, you need enough curl forms to make it through whatever section of your hair you're trying to um, get through. For me, I'm only doing half a head and I have 30 curl formers, so 34 half of my head should be great. So, me and these little small sections I'm working with here should be okay. Pull it Okay, what I'm noticing so far is the difference between the curl formers. Um, last time I used my curl forms, I used these, and these are called the wide ones. They're long and wide or short and wide. And the blue and green ones that I'm using today, they are called the long and narrow or, or short and narrow, you know, short and narrow versus long and narrow long and narrow short and narrow the same thing with the wide but I'm noticing that um, when I use the wide ones when I use the wide the pink and yellow my hair pulled through much easier and some of these I'm actually I, you know I almost get stuck or I had to restart so just wanted to update you on that but I am almost done with the front part but with the short with the wide, I didn't have that issue. I just was rolling right along. But it seems like with the narrow, it gives me a little technical difficulty. And for some reason, it might even just be the blue ones for me. The blue. 
I be getting stuck on. It's always been the blue one. So maybe that curl direction just ain't working with me today. Let me see. The blue curl says like this. So the blue ain't working with me today. But the right, which goes this way, is sliding on. Ooh, no problem, no problem. Blue is tasking me. Oh, and if you didn't see the previous video with the Afflegy um, product review slash announcement, I got engaged this morning. Officially engaged, should I say. Because as you, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll know I just moved in with my honey. Um, like, what, two weeks ago? And here's my ring. I put my ring on it. I took it off because I didn't want all the stuff in. But here's my ring. T, T, T. So, I'm officially engaged. And after, you know, soon, soon, you know, we'll officially get married. So we can stop shagging. <laughs> no, but I, um, <laughs> that was funny. But no, I moved in with my honey because I'm in the process of buying a house. Um, and, um, some issues came up so we'll be I had to um, wait until February to actually purchase the home so still going to purchase the home I just had a, a delay so excited about that and you know I'm excited about being formally engaged and I say formally engaged because my honey bunny told me a while ago, a while ago that you know he wanted to marry me and I told him yes I would marry you but we just didn't formalize it with a ring and now it's formalized and I'm just so happy. So that's that. And I'm just moving right along. I'm going to put about four more in this section and then I'll move over to the flexi rods. This side is a little, it's drying up a little bit so I'm spraying a little leave-in conditioner to make it wet like I want it to. So I'm going to spray some Ayurvedic water spritz on here. Yeah, yeah, that's the wetness of the fall. Skeet, 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 skeet. Handful of Jane Carter solution. So now on to the flexi rod solution side. So on the flexi rod side, you want to start with the tip, wrap it around. I usually wrap one full circle at the bottom, one full circle, and then I do like, the, then I go up the rod. And then you bend, and that's that. So I'll do a few more, and here we go one you know put it like right here so you can do one full circle and then wrap up the rod and then bend to hold on so to me that um Wrapping up and pulling out, that's like the same step to me. I mean, not same step, but same amount of time and effort. Except for, I guess, in this case, you ain't got to worry about it getting, you don't have to worry about it getting stuck. <laughs> like the curl former did. Yeah, and then also the other, the extra step that I say the curl form has is the sliding on you know sliding the roll onto the rod I told my honey I look like the predator the first and second generation combined mm. Alright, so I'm halfway done. Half 
curl formers, half um, flexi rods. And now I'm going to do the back, same thing. But I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to mix it. I'm going to mix the back too. I'm going to put the curl form on this side and the flex rod on this side. On the back side, I used all the short ones, except for I had to use um, five long ones. But I used the short ones just for comfort. All right, so I'm all done. So I, what I went back on this side and did was folded the excess. You know, like this one was this long. I went ahead and folded back the excess. So, you know, like in the back, you know, you use the short ones for comfort. So you can fold them out the way also for comfort. So I got half curl formers, half flexi rods, and the same thing in the back. Half curl formers, half flexi rods, and I did the same thing with a lot of these in the back. I folded them up so that they'd be out the way also. And I decided that, um, I told you all I, I'm going to keep them in, sleep on them, and take them out in the morning for church. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye. I'm back. I was just getting ready to clean up my stuff. So, um, if you can see right through there, you know, it was a full bottle. So, that's all I used for my whole head. So, I could see it. I can use this bottle at least, you know, two, one, two, at least three more times at least. So, good morning. It's Santasha. And I know y'all probably tripping on my bonnets, but... I wanted to make sure my hair was covered up real good. So this is how I covered my hair last night. And they stayed on. They stayed in place. Sleeping was um, a bit of a challenge. I, I actually think that the flexi rods were easier to sleep on than the curl formers. I think the curl formers were bothering my ears. So that's one observation that I've made with this. I'm still excited about my engagement and um so I'm just gonna take these take this down so that you guys can see my results and that's all it takes and that's the pretty curl you're gonna get that is very pretty and now I'll do a flexi rod side and show you the curl that you're gonna get on that one so the curl form is this the easier takedown if you ask me because you just pull it and that's that curl on that one looks like the curls are pretty much the same but <clears throat> I would say so far the um, curl formers give you a, a longer more um, a longer curl a more stretch curl whereas the flexi rod is kind of tight and you, so they look like they have to loosen up but since I, when, remember when I did my uh, flexi rod curl, remember how I did the one circle at the bottom? I think that's why my curls are nice and even at the bottom versus the curl former. It has that kind of straight, you know, all the way loop the loop curl, which I like both of them. But I think the flexi rod, I guess it'll give you the option of creating that. So... That's that. Bye. I'm going to start waving with this hand so y'all can. I'm going to start waving backwards like the little kids. You know how the little baby said bye. I'm going to wave like that so y'all can see my ring. Bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye.